Alright everybody welcome back to your 15th angular JS tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be continuing with our login form we have been developing since one tutorial so in the last part of the tutorial I talked to you about I talked with you guys about conditional routing we need to prevent the user from directly viewing the dashboard and to do that we have something called resolve in this when clause itself so I'll just put a comma or I'll just do it right here when resolve and right here I'll do something called check now this check would check against a function and would do everything specified here so the control would first be um, passed into resolve then inside check then this function would be checked so let's say if this function if I say if 1 equals 1 then um, location dot path dashboard so if I just specify location here then every time every single time you visit this URL you would be automatically redirected to this thing but we do not want that we want the valid and authenticated users to be logged in inside the dashboard itself so let's try something alternative and what we can do is we can use something called rootscape now rootscape I'll just write it for you guys root scape or it should be scope instead I guess I had a tongue twister right now so root scope is a kind of you can say a global a super global variable through on which whatever you assign remains accessible in every controller and everywhere in your angular um, directives and controllers and factories and all that stuff so root scope if I said like that root scope dot this name equals something then even if I had another controller down here and I just say alert root scope dot this name then it would alert something but if you do like scope dot username or you name then it would obviously not alert anything or would just alert undefined but root scope attaches all of your properties to global object okay so the thing we need to do now is change the var uname and var password to var instead of var to root scope dot uname and whoa, root scope dot password now we have got these two things accessible inside our um, you can say the global object so we can access these two here now so now if you're getting me what I'm gonna do is I'll just say if root scope dot and actually what we can do is we can just move this thing right here or just before the redirect actually so now we don't need to check anything against the value we can just specify or actually we don't need this at all you know I'm a little bit confused type of guy but I always come with right and clean solution so now the task is simple now and what I'll do is just if root scope dot logged in then do nothing but if it's not then location dot path the main stuff and otherwise else I just like to display the template URL and let's check this out on a browser so here's the browser and let me change it to 15.html let's say admin and admin let's log in now okay root scope is not defined and the reason is I didn't provide a root scope here so in angular you know 
just make it a habit that whatever angular stuff you are using to throw it in the function arguments as well otherwise things just screw up so let's I guess I didn't provide it here as well who are me alright let's reload now admin admin login check this out we are on the login page but nothing works and why maybe we just don't need the template URL inside the conditional clause because we are already redirecting it to the main site let's reload this again and let's check this out one more time let's log in and it says welcome user not a problem but the problem was that if I go directly to the dashboard alright so now I guess the problem is fixed and check this out now whenever I go to dashboard I'm automatically redirected to this page back and I'll just uh, confirm this for you through traditional JavaScript as well and you see that um, the hash automatically changes to the home page one whenever I go to the dashboard in an unauthenticated way so that was a really poor angular js validated form i admit that from my bottom of my heart you cannot implement this form anywhere in your site i know but you know this is just the basis of what you can do with angular js obviously you wouldn't store your password inside your source code only so in a real world application what you'll do is you will launch another ajax request to the server and send the you uh, this username and password to there and would wait for the response as valid or invalid and then you will perform the specific actions so basically all the security issues lies here only so this was a mini basic kind of ugly login form and you can go ahead and style it a little bit and even implement a security feature or two create some session IDs to keep the user logged in create some cookies with javascript to keep the user logged in for a specific period of time and whatever you want to do but my main purpose of this tutorial was to teach you guys how the check is working resolve and we have got some more things in resolve and how root scope is working location we have discussed and all that stuff so at last you see that we just did the wrong stuff.